and my list two rather is the Y list it is and I can choose what marking I want once I've done that I've told it to graph that now there's one other thing I do want to check first I'm going to make sure I don't have any equations in here so I've hit the Y equals button you can see I already have an equation up there I'm going to clear that out okay so I've turned my plot on I've made sure I have no equations in my graphing section already and I'm going to choose zoom and you can arrow upward to get to zoom 9 but well, it's easier just to memorize that 9 is what you want you can see I have one, two, three, four points graphed. I also got this line right across my screen. That tells me I probably have another equation somewhere in here. And there it is, down there in Y9. I'm going to get rid of that and go back to my graph. So there's my points. Okay, uh, They do look rather linear in terms of it looks like as X gets bigger, these all get bigger in the Y direction uh, somewhat proportionally to see if I can get a good equation that has a nice correlation I'm going to go back to stats I'm going to tell it to calculate and I'm going to choose number four which is linear regression so I hit number four up pops lin reg ax plus b now I'm going to hit second and the number one which is L1 to tell it where my x list is I'm going to hit a comma the button above the seven I'm going to hit second L2 the number 2 to tell it where my Y list is, which I put in L2, another comma, and then finally I'm going to go to my variables, my Y variables, my function list, and I'm going to choose number 1 for Y1. I could have chosen any of those Y variables. And then I'm going to hit enter one more time to execute that command. And what I get is an equation. If you can see that, I will zoom in just a little bit. There's my equation. It tells me that the A value is 2.2 approximately and the B, B value is about 0.46. So that's my equation that I end up with. I get Y equals A is 2.2 approximately X uh, plus my B value 0.46. And that's my equation that I can use to interpolate, pick an X value within the data range uh, and try and get a Y value out of that or I can extrapolate pick an X value outside of my data set and find the Y value hopefully that helps